Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending where you are in the world and what time you're watching this video. Uh, welcome to the channel, Gang Gang and Peanut, two peas in a pod. Today I am looking at trying to grow a few early cheeky potatoes. And it's also an extra good day because recently, if you've seen the previous video, you'll know that I managed to get some of these buckets for free from a supermarket and they were used for storing the cut flowers when they were on display. Uh, and they very kindly said I could have some. So I'm going to use these buckets, I've drilled some holes in the bottom and I'm going to use them to put a couple of early potatoes in just to see if we can get an earlier crop than usual. It's a bit early at the moment to be selling potatoes outside but I shall be keeping them in my greenhouse, which currently is bubble wrapped and insulated against any cold and frosts, which hopefully that will all be over soon and I'll be able to remove the bubble wrap. But anyway, let me show you what I do to try and get a few cheeky potatoes. Now in the bottom of the buckets, I like to um, use my spud lumps. And if you're not sure what spud lumps are, when I use compost I, I sieve it and the bits that are left in the bottom like these lumpy bumpy bits I call them spud lumps because I use them to put in my buckets for my spuds. Now the potatoes I'm using today are called Maris Bard. They're very nice and they're a heavy cropping early potato. I've grown them before, had tremendous results with them. However I don't think they'll be prolific cropping when they're growing these small buckets, but we're going to give it a go. So I'm going to use two potatoes in each bucket. The buckets are, I think they're only about 15 litres, so two is probably as much as we could get away with. And after all, we're only trying to get a few cheeky potatoes early, aren't we? So, uh, and they have, these potatoes have chitted. And if you're not sure what chitting is, I have made a video on it previously. Um, so you could go and have a look at that. Or, if I let you know just quickly, potatoes chitting or sprouting are a process where we store the potatoes in a cool place that's light so that the chits or sprouts start to appear on the potato. It's, it's the potato trying to grow. And this kind of gives us a bit of a head start. So if we plant potatoes that are chitted, we know they're already ready to start growing. So two of these in two different pots, and I'm going to use two different methods. One is that when I put the potatoes in, I'm going to wait till some foliage appears, and then I'm going to put more compost in. And when the foliage of the potatoes grown through that level of compost, I'll add more compost. The other way I'm going to do it, in this other bucket as I'm going to put two potatoes in and I'm going to completely fill the the bucket and we will see if one method or the other yields better results who knows let's give it a try okay so let's put some spud lumps into the bottom of this first bucket shall we and it only needs to be a few inches deep. Maybe a little more. And that is where the two potatoes will sit. There we go. Nicely chitted. And we'll pop one on their side with there. And we plant them again with the row's end down and the chits facing up, just like that. And the first one, I'm just going to cover it up by a few inches, just so the potato is covered. And I'm going to wait and see when the foliage grows through this uh, level of compost, I'll put some more, a few more inches on. And then when the foliage grows through that level, I'll put some more on until eventually the compost is up to the top of the bucket and the foliage is starting to grow away. So that's one done. Let's have a look at the next one. The 
so again we'll put some spud lumps in the bottom like that and we'll put the two potatoes on the top of those spud lumps and, and as you can see the compost is about that far up the bucket so we'll take two potatoes that again have chitted and we'll pop them in there one there on that side and one on that side and now this one i'm going to completely cover them fill the bucket up to the very top and we'll see if there's any difference so let me fill this to the very top two pots maris bard with the compost to the top of the pot and the other pot here is maris bard and it's just about a quarter of the way full and we'll see what happens with those two. Be quite interesting to see if there is a better method or not. I'm not expecting the potatoes in these pots to grow to the size of a baking potato. What we're after is a few smaller new potatoes and they'll probably grow to, let me see, maybe, maybe the size of this potato here. But that'll be fantastic. It means we could get that early summer new potato taste well before anything we're going to put in the ground has grown and these will be going in the ground over at my allotment probably early April now because the last frost date here where I am is the end of March very beginning of April maybe Easter who knows but when I do plant them in the allotment I'll make a little video and you can see what I do when I plant the potatoes in my allotment so if you want to get yourselves couple of buckets and if you can get the free ones brilliant go to the supermarket just ask you never know pop a cup of potatoes in use either one of the methods that I'm using because at the moment who knows which is the better one we don't know we'll find out get a couple of potatoes popped in get yourself that early taste of summer oh, I can taste it already hot new potatoes a bit of butter and a lovely salad which we're also going to be growing in the future video I'm going to be showing you what I do with lettuce and spring onions and the makings of the first summer salad. Mm -hmm.